Our scripture reading for this week comes from the book of Exodus, chapter 16, verses 1 through 31. Just enough. Listen now for God's word to us. Have you ever felt really grumpy? Or grumpy and tired? Or grumpy, tired, and hungry all at the same time? If you have, then you know what it was like for the Israelites after they left Egypt. It had been two months since the Israelites left Egypt. That's a long time on your own in the desert. They complained to Moses and Aaron, We were slaves in Egypt, but at least we had enough food to eat. Now they were so hungry that they thought they might die. They know I can hear them when they complain, right? God asked Moses. I'm not sure they do, said Moses. Okay, I have a plan. It will help them know that I hear their grumbling and I will feed them, but it will test how well they follow my instructions. God told Moses the plan. Everybody listen said Moses and Aaron. Why complain to us? God can hear you and has a plan to feed you. When you have meat at night, God wants you to remember. Remember all the terrible, awful things God saved you from in Egypt. When you have bread to eat in the morning, you will see God's greatness. Please follow God's instructions. That night, quail landed in the Israelites' camp. Now they had meat to eat. In the morning when the dew lifted, flaky stuff was left on the ground. What is this? The Israelites asked. This is the bread that God has given us, Moses said. And these are your instructions. Every morning, gather just enough for it to feed your family. Don't save any. You have to trust that there will be more tomorrow. They gathered the flaky stuff and ate it. Some folks didn't follow the directions and tried to save some for later. It grew worms and got really awful. This made Moses angry. After a few days, the people knew they would have more each day. Morning after morning, they gathered just enough. On the sixth day, God had something special in store for the Israelites. That morning, they gathered enough for two days. Tomorrow is a day for you to rest. It is called the Sabbath, said Moses. It is a day for God. Gather enough for two days and cook it today. Tomorrow, don't go out to gather anything. Some Israelites did try to gather food on the seventh day, but nothing was there. Now they knew that they were to rest on the seventh day. God would give them food. Hear this. What does it sound like when your stomach growls? What do you like to eat when you are so hungry? See this. What do you think the flaky stuff that God gave the Israelites for bread looked like? Act this out. What would you do if there were no grocery stores to buy food? What did Moses and God do? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.